everybody, Mr. Viola here, back playing Scrap Mechanic. And boy, do I have the most amazing build to show you today. I decided to take the day off yesterday. I didn't record any videos. I needed a bit of a break and also to watch Making a Murderer. But while I was doing that, I also built something amazing. It's massive. It's enormous. It is my biggest build yet. The tallest, the widest, the most, you know, it's probably the most reliable to be honest. This thing is incredible and you probably know what it is at the title of the video. But if you are ready to see it, if you are ready to see this amazing thing, then go ahead and whack this video with a thumbs up. Make it rain. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have been incredible. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ba -da -ba! This here is my crane. How big is it? How good is it? I think it looks insane. But ignore that little concrete, that little metal thing on the side of it. I just had a little issues with it. Maybe it's not so reliable. Ignore it. But this thing is amazing. I kind of went through a couple different builds to get this thing just right. Um, I had a lot of issues with it because it's so big and it's built out of a heavy material. Let's just say it toppled over a few times. Um, I built like the center part out of that metal stuff. And then when I, I wasn't too sure how to do the top part, but I started out doing it with the metal stuff and I ended up like filling up the whole one side of that and that side was empty and uh, you can probably guess what happened. I didn't know it could happen, but yet yeah, it, it completely fell off. So I had to like rebuild it and originally I just built it out of that light blue frame you can sort of see up there, but then eventually I decided to fill it all up. And uh, it works pretty freaking beautiful. As you can see, we got like a big chain type thing with a big claw at the bottom. This is probably the proudest part. I'm so proud of this right here. Um, but yeah, let me go and show you guys how it all works. So, kind of got to measure up where I put this. Otherwise, we won't be able to pick it up. So, I've also built this thing here this morning. Uh, this is kind of like the way to get up to the top. Because originally, well, first up, I had a staircase when building it. Secondly... Then I kind of had this sort of thing I'd do. I kind of jump on the lift, run it up, place the lift again, go up. I kind of stuffed that up. But uh, I went and built this sort of thing here. It's called, sort of based off of the design. Um, I've seen a few YouTubers and guys making videos. It's kind of like a scissor lift design uh, where basically it's just bearings and blocks. And I'll show you exactly how it works. Press E to use it. And it's just the lift. It's actually really, really simple. And then I just jump across here, and there we go. So, yeah, that's really cool. It was actually really easy to make. So, then I just send it back down, and it contracts. And, yeah, it's really, really cool. So, let me show you guys what's in store up here. As you can see, there's a lot of wiring and stuff. It's actually very, very simple, right? So, we've got a seat. Originally, I was going to run this off of an engine. But as you can see down the back here, we have a shitload of thrusters. That's because this thing is so heavy, and an engine couldn't turn it. So... When we jump on the seat here, let me go and zoom out, right? Um, basically, by pressing 3 and 4, we get to turn this thing. So by pressing 3, the thrusters on one side push it, and we get to rotate through the top here. And then by pressing 4, we obviously go back the other way. Um, and that there is basically just hooking up the thrusters. These ones here on the left and these ones here on the right, basically to their corresponding side. They're both hooked up to a little button each, and then the buttons are connected to the seat. And as you can see down the bottom there, they kind of work depending on which way you want to go. Now, that's not all. The second feature, well, we've still got two of these little fellas here, two switches. Now, these are connected up the same way. Um, basically, they're connected to two controllers, and then the controllers are connected to a little feature. We'll call it that. So, if we go ahead and press 1, as you can see, the chain... Oh, snap. Now, the chain gets kind of glitchy, right? It gets kind of glitchy sometimes. And... Basically, when I log in and out of the world, sometimes it just decides to crumple itself all up and it gets like absolutely insane. I don't know what is going on with it there. Okay, so by pressing one, we're going to keep it nice and slow because the faster it gets, the more like glitchy it can get. So as you can go, as you can see, it pulls up the chain, ravels it up and stops right there. So, I don't know if we can sort of see that. We can't really get any closer view of it. Actually, we can. We can. Hold on. So, as you can see, we've got like this big sort of chain. It's it's very rough, but it's uh it's pretty cool. It's all like wound up. And that's basically just a few blocks of, I don't know, concrete with a bearing. A couple more blocks of concrete. And uh, as you can tell, they're all unconnected to anything. They're all pretty much loose. 
Anyway, that there is connected to these four bearings right here. Now, the reason I went for four bearings, originally I only went for one. But the reason we got four is because each one of those does like a 360 degree turn. And it let us control exactly how many turns we needed to get it to the top. So it took a lot of playing around because this thing, I'm telling you, got really, really glitchy. Uh, but basically, it does two 360 turns and a 180. And ignore this stuff on the left here. That's just because things got a bit weird. We'll put it that way. <laughs> so that's not all. The second feature is, of course, the uh, the next button. Now, if you press two, the claw opens and closes. And I think that's like the my favorite part of the whole thing. It's not foolproof. It's still like drop stuff because the claw doesn't really close all the way. But um, yeah, let me show you exactly how this thing works. So let's say we want to go and pick up this little container down the bottom there. I'm going to drive this around. I'm going to try and stop right on top of it. Probably not right on top of it. We're going to press 1. So that's going to lower the crane. Hopefully. And now we can kind of guide it a little bit more. And there we are. We are completely unraveled. Now we're going to press 2. Alright. So it looks like we've got it. And then we're going to press 1. And we're going to lift it up. And it's as simple as that. I think it's amazing. I, I'm actually really proud of it. Um... I didn't think it worked this well. And then, of course, we can, you know, go and turn the crane around if we want to. And let's say I want to drop it right there. We're just going to unravel again. And it's as simple as that. All the way to the bottom. And we're going to place it. Now, the one feature that I wish I included was to have... This little like pickup part sort of movable back and forth like along this way if that makes sense so that it isn't just one distance you know it kind of sucks because it's really only one diameter around this entire crane that it can really lift but it would have been really cool if we could have moved that part there up and down I'm not too sure how we could have done that either um, I did have a little think about it and I couldn't really come up with a system that worked without getting too complicated and probably too glitchy and buggy in the process. But yeah, that's our crane, guys. It's really cool. I'm I'm so happy with it. Um, I hope you guys are impressed. I hope you guys like it. I think I've just worked out a problem here. I think I've just worked out something I didn't think of. If we go and jump on here... Oh, snap. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. That's a bit of an issue. I didn't think of that one. Yeah. How am I... <laughs> this isn't good. Okay, then. Um, okay, no. We have to come on this side if we're going to get up there. Okay. Let's go and do exactly that. I'll show you the old way we used to get up there. Pretty much like this. Um, okay. Alright, we should be alright. We should be able to do it. Don't, don't push me out. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Can I hit that switch? I can't. Let me pop out this wall. Send that back down. Send that back down and let's replace this. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's not 100% foolproof. Um, I think it goes that way. Yes, it does. So yeah, we gotta drive this thing back around, don't we? A little lift is still there. Yeah, that's not going to catch on anything. But yeah, this is it. This is my little crane. Well, when I say little, this thing is freaking enormous. This is my enormous crane. I really hope you like it. I, uh, I, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite builds yet. Probably next to my motorbike. In top two. It falls in the top two, but really hope you like it, guys. Uh, this has been just a short video. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to whack that video with a thumbs up. Make it rain them thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more scrap mechanic videos, just let me know down in the comments. Or if you have any suggestions for things we can build, let me know about them down below as well. But most importantly, guys, have a fantastic day. Love you all. I'll catch you guys in another video tomorrow. Bye for now. Here we go. Come on. No. No. Why are you going in circles? Why? Yes, we're in the air. We're in the air. <laughs>